And every time I've had a good shoot, I've been, uh, especially with six guys, you know, six guys. I mean, we could get lucky, like you say, if it's like sleet and they can't even see. Yeah, but I, I like, I, I have to, I keep going back to the hide. I keep going no, back like to the, the hide, Because the, the, the ducks will come. The ducks will I'd come. I'd love you to prove me wrong. It wouldn't hurt you me. Know, how, you know, you watch them in a field and they're moving from one spot to another and they're all over the place. All we need is to come over within 40 yards and, and that, that's the end of their life. Well, I'm willing to put a six pack up on a... On a Four or five bales in the middle of a field where they feel that there's nothing around with a 360 viewpoint and an unturned field. Uh, six pack says we kill major. What do you think, Dad? Whatever you want to do, I'm a guest. But <laughs> the moving company, we're on both sides of the battle. In one factory and in another factory, 20 miles more out of town. You're trapped with a cat. It gives you a caution on the cat. Deeks off those trees there. How far down are the trees? About 200 yards. Oh, Not even that. You, you see them from here? I think they're two or yeah, 300 well, yards. Yeah, over here. Can you see that? Yeah. Up there, it comes right up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Drive in. They're going to come uh, in. They're going to come back in. And they're going to land right into the wind, and we'll yeah. be right there. Yeah. Yeah. Some in range there, Todd. That just came over that we didn't even see. Oh, they don't know anything about goose hunting, so they think they're, uh, you know, they think they're doing the old, they're doing the same old thing as they have because they've never bothered to buy decoys. Oh fuck! We got the geese coming over, jeepers! We got to start shooting these fuckers.
I'm glad we got a shot, but... What's the point of being here? All you're doing is fucking me up. No. That's but that's no. fine. I mean, it's just like not hunting. It's just like fucking hunting with eight-year-olds. That's, uh, that's, no, that's no deal as a past shooting deal anyway. They don't come in. I know, but I mean, we're hoping for a surprise. we didn't get a duck or two, though. Yeah, I am, too. This, this isn't over. I think our set... No, it's not over. I don't like our set, though. Oh, turn around, you guys. Coming right out. What Canada's like? Huh? You'd be so fucking impressed. Down, down. down. For this stubble field, which is barley, it's an excellent field. There isn't any cover on it. Uh, academically, this is what one should do. One should have for this amount of men, this amount of men, two pits about 30 yards apart, and a mess of decoys all around them. But it actually is a very good field. Johnny's white coat sticks out like a, I thought he had a brown coat. Where'd you pick the first one up though? Oh, down there a little bit. A plain ordinary everyday 70 yard headshot. <laughs> EP Dennehy. I always aim for between the eyes <laughs> when it comes to white fronted geese. Because I, I seem to remember you took us in with Charlie that time. We took a road back in. Oh, here. yeah. Well, we, we hunted right there. I'll tell you what that is. From here, 
Uh, from here, up a couple of miles, turn left, and that's Kingsley's. Kingsley's, and we were in the back part of Kingsley's in their in their swath.
come in to push this way, but he angled in that way and they went out the end. Did you have a mallard go by in there? Well, I saw one mallard, but I wasn't going to bloody well shoot at it. Land in the goddamn oh. water. I was waiting for this to. Where did they go? Go out that way? Yeah. Into the wind? Right yeah. into the wind. It's too bad. Well, it was worth a shot. Back to the drawing board. No duck? Precious little. Okay, then we're back to square one. Okay, get out the cars. Get out the rusty nail. We gotta go down and chase all those ducks off that slough down there. Gang ranching. You wanna chase them? That was right on the road, wasn't it? Mm hmm. You can't shoot it. I'm all ears now. We can go up to the north of here, or we can go west towards Roblin. Or... I just want to have a look, look see around the farm for sentimental reasons. It was the farm of the Adams family, very prominent in the, uh, in the uh, village of Newdale and the surrounding area. There was four sons in the family. Of the four brothers, my best friend was Douglas Adams. We met when I uh, entered the college in the uh, University of Manitoba, the Faculty of Agriculture in 1936. And, uh, I took a liking to Doug right away and he to me and we were inseparable at college for four years. Uh, our friendship uh, brought us together. I was invited to the New Deal area where the first time I was up here was 1938. Doug Adams at the top. Gavin Adams, right at the top. Yeah, that's my friend right here. My friend Doug Adams, closest friend I've ever had. Four years of university, came up to New Dale, enjoyed all the fun and frolics, hunting, great dinners there. Yeah. He and Doug and his brother Gavin lost their lives. Bye, old Dougie boy. Oh, There's a moon tonight. Somehow I saw Victor's vehicle moving down through here earlier. Okay, throw that one in here. And make Oh no, you need more than that. A bit more than that. There you go. Make it good and sweet. Good. Look at the color change. <laughs> that murkiness. We're doing an operation here. Yeah, we give that one to the bamboo. A and W. <laughs> Would you like a tray for your window, sir? <laughs> Tough to do. They want to come out this way. Yep. That's really going to want to go and join their other buddies that were over there. I saw some other go down over here earlier.
Full green head. Major hit. Major hit. <laughs> now that was a good shot. That made up for that last one. Come on, let's get back in. That's a mature chicken. See the gold there? And you can tell by the tails too. Yeah. And the, the tail has an actual sharp, the reason it's called a sharp tail is because the tail has a very sharp pointed tail. That's a mature sharp tail. It's, it's, it's a beautiful bird. Oh, this is a barnyard cat. This guy is a mouse killer. He has to, he has to hunt to live. Look at this crop. Holy blood. So that's what he had for dinner. Oh, look at him. So greens and red berries, yellow berries, no green. Well, I, I have a friend out in, in Alberta that from the day he started shooting, he kept a diary as to the day and the, what the weather was like, who he was with, yeah. what, the, what their bag limit was, yeah. or their, their bag was, often with pictures and kept a diary of all the hunts. I'll be damned. And I, I thought, what a neat goddamn idea had I been smart enough to have done that. Yeah. Well, of course, this is this is the latest. What what Clancy's doing? Yeah. You can you can see this 20 years from now and live the live the morning. I'm going to get some of my old films out and have a look sure. at them someday. Sure. Damn right.
there. He had four shots fired in there, six shots. Still flying. I caught him, and he still got away. He's a lucky bloody duck. Boom it out now. 